707 Little city by the water, you know what I'm saying? Little California Stand up We want it all, yeah, we want it all Yeah, we stand it to all, yeah, we stand it to all They know me as Shorty, yeah. But uh, through the years, you know what I'm saying? Niggas got, got to know me as Smith Andrews you know what I'm saying? Rap Shack representative. We did B.A.Y. album. Grind Intent to Sell album. A lot of work with Justin Case and Robbie. So that's what it, what it is. Yeah, that's what's up. Well, start it off like, um, how you get started? Like, what made you get started? What was your influence to get started? Um, my influence to get started, to really, like, take it serious, uh, like, we used to just mess with it in school. Me and my homie Shy B. A lot of niggas know him as Mike. Uh, it's me and Mike busting raps. My nigga Justin Case, he is already rapping, messing around with it. But uh, I mean, you know what I'm saying during junior high and then high school, we really start we start taking it serious. This nigga Jay start getting down with the beats, and once he start getting down with the beats, like serious, like that's when we start taking it serious. Like we really start trying to learn how to uh, format songs, whatnot. You dig what I'm saying? So. It got to the point to where like everything we was listening to, we was trying to mimic, like we was trying to get it to sound like that. And eventually we got to a point to where like the music was good enough, we started running with it, you feel me? Okay, okay. Well, what year you say you got started in? Gosh, um, like taking it serious though? Taking it serious, probably like uh, our 10th or 11th grade in high school. So that was probably like 2002, 2003. Okay, okay. start taking it serious. You, when I listen to your music, I, I hear something different than what I hear in a lot of Barry music. You now like, a, I'm going to say you're a conscious rapper. Like, you more like a common with a Barry swag, I guess. I mean. <laughs> you got a lot to say. You more on a political tip and you don't just talk about what's in your backyard. You talk about what's going around in the whole world. Yeah, I mean, growing up, you know what I'm saying, like, when I really started, I, I grew up on Too Short Heavy. You know what I'm saying? So, the influence from Too Short grew up. I like I, I grew up in Frisco. So like the first rapper I ever met was JT the Bigger Figure and Fote. So I was like big JT Fote fans. Like the whole Get Low movement was big in Fillmore. You feel me? So like growing up listening to that shit. You feel me? Then when we moved to moved from Frisco to Belial, like Forty was just like the nigga out here. You dig what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like we always heard about Forty in the click. So. So to listen to 40 that in a major way album and then move out to, here to Belay and really see what he was talking about like so to grow up on Bay Area music heavy like that's crazy because like a lot of Bay Area music is like it's not it's not quote unquote like you know what I'm saying SoCal gangster movement you feel me it's, it's like back then niggas had the mob music so a lot of niggas was talking about just you know what I'm saying what Bay Area niggas do side shows mm -hmm. pimping. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucking moving drugs, whatever the case may be, you feel me? So to grow up listening to that, you know what I'm saying, that puts like a, a, a twist on my music also. But then, you know what I'm saying, as I got older, like just I always had an ear for music. So I grew up listening to shit like Outkast, Equimini album, you feel me? Uh, back when I was young, nigga, a lot of niggas don't know about them, but uh, the Jungle Brothers, they was uh, like that. I don't even know where they from, but they was on some conscious whatnot, you feel me? So, like... I always try to kept keep my ear to like, you know what I'm saying, just a little bit of everything, you know what I'm saying, all kind of rap, you feel me. So when niggas hear me, you feel me, I got I got like a Bay Area background, you feel me, because I, I really know what's going on with the, in the streets, you feel me. I'm not a street nigga, but you feel me, I, I know what it is, you feel me, so I can speak on it because I done been through a few situations. My homies have been through a few situations, so, but at the same time, when I bring my music, I'm not, I'm not trying to, you know what I'm saying, I'm not trying to bring, I'm not trying to promote that lifestyle, you feel me. If I know about it, I'll shed some light on it, but at the same time, you feel me, I feel like niggas should use this music and this movement to really, you know what I'm saying, try to take it to another level instead of telling niggas to sell dope, you know what I'm saying, tell a nigga that is something dope, like nigga, you know what I'm saying, you could do something else other than that, you feel me. Cause that's what I'm gonna get you so far. That's what I'm trying to do with it. That's why. That's why the music got the sound that it do. You feel me? Cause that. Cause it, when you when you grow up here in the in the Bay, you feel me? You lace with game automatically. So to to get that that lacing for Bay Area rappers, and then you know what I'm saying, listen to other rappers. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to just take it to another level with it. You feel me? So with songs like uh, the Blail song, you said something. Uh, 
Lil PD, the boys in blue ain't shit. Tell off the um D Jones. I mean D Joseph to stop hassling them. <laughs> Something like that. I don't, I don't know funny. if word for word, but when I when I laid it down, uh I actually changed it. I got a second version where, you know what I'm saying, my folks wanted me to change it, but then the version I put out, that was the version I put out, I was like, fuck it, you feel me? Um, as far as the as far as the relationship with the with the L P D or any public station around the area or even around through this country, you feel me, it's like it's a um it's a relationship as to where like in the community it's times where you do have to call the police. They are there for our help, you feel mm-hmm. me? You know what I'm saying? And the thing about police officers, I wouldn't I wouldn't wish death on a police officer or anything crazy to happen to any anybody doing their job because they just like you and me you feel me they got to work a job if you they family and you feel me that's a profession that they just so happen to choose my thing about the police is that you feel me they humans just like me and you you feel me so like you know what i'm saying them niggas got a conscience just like me and you so they can choose to do good or they can choose to do bad you feel me so um i mean that's just that's just what it is i mean as far as the relationship with blood police um, I see it as uh, you got a few officers out here that have worked in the school systems at the high schools. They're familiar with some of the kids, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, they got co-workers that they know that's in the streets. Nigga harassing these youngsters, you feel me? And they don't they do not do nothing to speak against these officers or call them out, you feel me? Um, officer D. Joseph just happened to be one of those officers. I didn't heard from so many youngsters that this nigga be harassing them, you feel me? So my little niggas is like, nigga, this motherfucker, they, and I'm coming home from Vallejo High, this motherfucker harassing us. The nigga pulled us over the other night. I'm like, God damn, this, this motherfucker's a monster, you feel me? So, I mean, nigga, it, 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 light has to be shed on that situation, you feel me? Because, you know what I'm saying, police, just like me and you, they can choose to do good or they can choose to do bad, you feel me? The relationship with the police here in the black community here in Vallejo is that these motherfuckers is crooked, you feel me? They pull niggas over. You know what I'm saying? And before they even ask any questions, they already like, you know what I'm saying? You motherfuckers is guilty of something. You feel me? And niggas just so happen to just be a nigga going out, nigga, to handle some business. You feel me? Pay some bills or whatever the case may be. And these motherfuckers out here in Vallejo, California, these police officers, they ain't got, I ain't gonna say that they racist or whatever the case may be, but, you know what I'm saying? They, they definitely uh, have a problem with the youth and they really don't know how to deal with us, you feel me? So I think they go about it in the wrong way. So I was just shedding light on that, you know, a little song. I guess they think bankrupt supposed to keep us down. Twitter exclusive. Uh, I won't let it get the best of me. I'ma give it a hundred until it's death for me. Life is crazy, sometimes you gotta let it be. In the club, mixing rock star with Hennessy. A pivotal moment in which we have epiphanies. Then maybe this moment that's given is a gift to me. A lot of homies are gone. They just